What's up guys, welcome back to our Z-Roll and today we're really excited because we're talking about what you do after you book your Disney cruise. So we have about 10 things, thoughts, tips, if you will, of what we do after we book the cruise. Mm -hmm. um, and it kind of speeds up you know, the whole process of waiting for your cruise. We usually book about a year out. And so these are some ways to kind of get excited for that, but also just prep so that way your vacation is amazing. So the first thing we're gonna share with you guys that we like to do is just making sure our cruise documents are all in place. So wherever you're going, you know, depending on that, you may need a passport. So check your passports, check your date, make sure they haven't expired yet and make sure they won't expire when you go on your cruise, which may be, you know, in another year. So just checking all of that and also DisneyCruiseLine.com, they'll have all the documents there and they'll usually, they have a good area that'll show you like, you know, what you'll need and things to fill out. So just make sure everything's good to go there before your cruise. Yeah, and the thing is, is if you do need to get a passport, it usually takes about three months or so to mm -hmm. get one. So again, make sure you're planning. And also if your passport's going to expire, um, making sure that it's not gonna expire for a few months um, during your event. So for example, if you sell in August, but all of a sudden your passport expires in like October or November, I would definitely get a new passport before then. So making sure that you have a, a good amount of leeway before that that expires. So the next is to download the Disney Cruise app. And yes, you really won't need this until you actually are on the ship because mm -hmm. you can message people and see reservations and all that kind of stuff. But it's really cool because beforehand, um, you're able to add reservations, you're able to see your itinerary and kind of get excited, but also it has a really cool countdown like this right here. You can get in focus kind of, not really, but we are 92 days away from our four night Halloween on the high seas Baja, Baja cruise from San Diego. Baja? Baja. Baja <laughs> cruise. Uh, we're really excited about it. We are uh, actually, I don't know, if, I think most of you know, but we're going with Leg Life for the Leg Life viewer cruise. We're really excited. Uh, fingers crossed that everything goes well with that. But if not, we're definitely gonna rebook for a future cruise. But this is a really cool app and yeah, you can see like right here, how it has your itinerary. And if you go, there's a little more section, you can add reservations and all that kind of good stuff. So that's a really cool, fun app to yeah. download. I love it right now, just randomly throughout the day or throughout the week, just yeah. checking how many days are left. I'm not gonna lie, that <laughs> I do it pretty much every day. Cause I feel like what if it's jumped and a you week? Didn't know. <laughs> yeah. So the third thing that you can do before and you your should cruise, do and you should do is pay it off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but you have to. Right. Well, there's multiple <laughs> ways we can share with you guys that yeah. you can do that. So what you can do is, um, you know, you'll when you book your cruise, you will have to put a down payment down. So depending on which cruise you're going on, it'll be due somewhere between 75 to 120 days before your cruise leaves. So a good thing you could do is just set your calendar date from, you know, when you book till around that time, whatever your date is, and you can budget it out. So you have like a monthly payment every month until it's paid off, or maybe you just want to wait and just save it all and just pay it all, you know, on that due date. So whatever works for, you know, your budget, your family, but we just kind of like to plan that out and see, you know, how we're going to do that. Yeah, so when you book your cruise, it obviously gives you the due date when it's due. Um, and you can't actually book your excursions until a certain time. And we'll talk more about that in later in this video. Mm -hmm. You can actually pay on the Disney cruise several payments if you want. You don't have to just wait till the very last due date. You can do once a month, a couple times a month, whatever makes sense for you. We usually wait till the last bit and we, we, we just we just save it in a bank account and then we just drop it. But it just kind of depends on how you how you want to do that. The next number four is planning like air travel and transportation and hotel and all that kind of stuff. If you watch any of our Disney tips and tricks, we talk about how we always make sure that we're there at least a day early before mm -hmm. we embark on the cruise and because things can happen when you're traveling so we want to make sure that we're just in the area ready to go um, and so you want to add that to talking about your budget to your budget and so making sure you sit down after you book and um, you know or probably before you book and just kind of count the cost, how it's going, much it's going to cost with the transportation to the hotel, to the flight, to the gas, whatever you're looking at. Mm -hmm. And we uh, have a pretty um, detailed 
um, Excel spreadsheet that taught, that goes down to even like like the gas to tipping to um, parking fees to um, just it's pretty detailed that we've used year after year. And so we suggest kind of just yeah sitting down. It's, it's fun because you get to talk about your vacation and how much you mm-hmm. want to spend and souvenir money and just kind of go detailed and all of that. So that way. When you're ready to go, you have the money. You're not charging your way through a vacation and then because you don't want a vacation that follows you back in the wrong way. Right. Because when you get back, you want to be like, that was a fun vacation rather than having to pay off your vacation. Yeah. So <laughs> plan ahead. Number five is to join the Disney Cruise Junkies page on Facebook. And what's cool about that is, number one, it's just fun to kind of get excited about Disney Cruise because everyone on that on that page is going on a cruise. But then what happens is they actually make other groups for your specific cruise. And so then you get to actually communicate with people that are going on the same exact cruise that you are. And then if you are a part of that, that's where you can actually um, decide if you want to do like um, pixie dusting or if you want to do the fish extender, which leads us to our next idea or thought or tip Mm -hmm. and that is fish extenders yes so number six is um you know doing a fish extender or pixie dusting we did our first time on our last cruise with the fish extenders and it was super fun and they'll put you in a group and they'll give you your your people they'll show their stateroom so it's really organized i was kind of like anxious like how is this going to work out but it was really simple and it's really fun you get to go shopping and they'll show like even some of the people's you know in the state rooms if they have a disney or their favorite disney character and just different things to help with that process so that is super fun to do too so number seven and this is something that we made up i don't think we've ever seen anybody talk about it that i've seen i don't know but we like to watch movies that kind of have the theme to do with the the cruise we're going on so if you guys are maybe doing a marvel day at sea or star wars day at sea watching like all the star wars or marvel movies or um like when we went on the wonder on our past trip they have tiana's restaurant so we watch princess and the frog so just different theme movies that go along with your cruise is kind of fun and just kind of we would do like a little calendar and you know watch these certain movies before with um you know people if you're going with your family it's a really fun thing to do yeah exactly and then also like even look at your ports and stuff and so kind of theme the ports with those disney mm-hmm. movies is fun um how many of you guys do that i'm just kind of curious if you when you go on vacation do you kind of watch like disney movies or stuff to kind of get ready i know when we go to hawaii like our last hawaii um trip we watch a lot of like movies that were filmed in hawaii mm-hmm. um and it's just it kind of gets you excited um and kind of helps mark off the days of the calendar yeah. for that as well Number eight is getting some gear you're gonna need. So uh, the two main things we're gonna talk about with this is swimsuits and pirate gear. So swimsuits is obviously a must. (laughs) And depending on where you live, it's kind of hard to find them depending on the season. Um, We experienced this because we did a cruise in December and we needed to get some suits and they were nowhere to be found. (laughs) And the thing with swimsuits is hard is I don't know if you like buying them online, but it's hard because you always want to try them on. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe think of that beforehand when it's time that they're out or maybe it's the end of the summer. At least have some time to be able to return and get the ones you need. I remember we went through a few of them before the one we got and it was like a nick of time before we (laughs) We were in a tight crunch. (laughs) And then another thing you'll need is pirate gear, depending on um, the the cruise you're doing, their itinerary. They usually always have a pirate night. So um, after Halloween's a good time to go shopping because they'll usually have a lot of the pirate gear clearanced mm-hmm. out. Um, but keep an eye out for that as well is something we do. And same the with time. like your Marvel and Star Wars and yeah. stuff. I mean, that's a, a great time. Again, mm-hmm. like if you're if you do like us and you you wait for a year, um, you plan about a year out for your cruises, you're always going to hit that October mm-hmm. um, usually. So it's always good if especially if it's a theme cruise. But also, yeah, yeah Pirate Night, we always update. We kind of go a little crazy when it comes to Pirate Night, and I don't think we're going to go that crazy this time around. Because I don't think think Lacey wants me to. Because it's... uh, Because you have eyeliner the rest of the cruise. (laughs) Yeah, that's that one did not come off last cruise. If you watch any of our Disney cruise videos, like, the next day, my eyeliner was just was stuck on. I looked like <laughs> Green Day or something. It was super bad. So number nine, this is like one of my favorite, is booking the excursions. And we're really excited because actually when we're done, when we're done filming this, we're going to finish paying off our entire cruise and because we're getting ready for Wednesday. And that's when we get to book our excursions. Um, it's going to be a uh, 10, I think it's 10 p.m. Idaho time because that's midnight Florida time. And that's when we're able to book excursions. Now this is the thing. You can't just, when you, you know, when you book your cruise, you can't just book excursions. You actually have to wait until a time frame. So depending mm-hmm. on what status you are uh, for the cruise line, if you've 
cruised before um, or if you've never cruised, it just it kind of depends on certain day a day frame before you can actually book excursions. So for example, I'll kind of give you the breakdown of what status you have to be in order to book your excursion. So if you are platinum, which is selling 10 times or more, you can book 120 days before you sell, which would be nice because usually if you have um, that time frame, you can actually get the cream of the crop, things you really want to book. But if you're gold, which is you've sold more than five times, you can book 105 days before. And if you're silver, uh, which you've, you've sell at Disney at least once, you can book 90 days before. And if you never sell, then it's 75 days before. So these are the time frames where you're able to book those excursions. So we're silver status still, and uh, we're almost to the gold status, but not quite. Uh, so we're 90 days out. So we're gonna be able to book that this Wednesday. And this is the cool thing because you're gonna be able to get on there and say, look, I wanna get on the boat early rather than later, mm -hmm. and making sure that, because we love to get on the boat right when you can get on the ship. boat. Oh, ship, I, I'm sorry guys, but we can get on the ship early so you can get explore the ship, kind of get things ready to go and kind of get your bearings straight if you will. Um, and it just feels like a bonus day, yeah. you know? But then you can like, you can reserve like Polo or what you want to do on your excursions when you when you dock, you know, mm -hmm. and things like that. So um, that is a really exciting day in the Zachman household. We brew some coffee, we stay up late, and we start planning our excursions. So the last one we're going to share with you guys is actually found on the Disney Cruise Line website. And it's an area called Free Disney Cruise Planning Tools. And on there you can order their um, video that they share with you, it just kind of explains like all the different you know dining options and shows you you know tours of the ship and then there's also an area you can click for like an e-brochure it said too so those are also fun ways just to get mm -hmm. excited especially if it's your first cruise you know just to get um more information i think for me i love as much information as possible to know before you do something so it's always fun to do that too. yeah and also uh like they kind of depending on what cruise you go on, like for example, like if we go on ours, it tells us like packing tips for Mexico and mm -hmm. things like that. Well guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really appreciate you guys. If you have any more questions regarding this or really anything else, we'll do our best to answer those. Uh, we really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, like this video, um, and yeah, give us a little comment and uh, we'll talk from there. But you guys have a fantastic week and uh, guess what, Wednesday. Yeah. Excursion day, woo! Anyway, we'll see you guys real soon. Later, guys. Bye.